y'all it's Betsy with happily ever after center and welcome back to another garden video so I'm back from my big cruise which was very fun I will be rolling out all of that footage shortly you might have already seen some it might be coming up it's hard to say what I've got going on these days but while I was gone of course the weeds have tried to take over it's got a lot of weeding left to do once again down by the shed and we'll get there we'll get to it in the meantime we've got fall things to plant we're not gonna wait we got to get them in the ground as soon as possible a because we were able to get them from the store and we don't want them to leave them in their flats for too long and B um, because the, the earlier they're in the ground the more chance we'll have to put down roots and to be safe if it gets super cold this winter of course I'm in zone 8b here in southern Alabama. So we're pretty uh, tropical for lack of a better term. We don't really get frost at all even in the winter. Last season, we had one or two freezes all winter long. So things like pansies bloom all season, fall, winter, and spring for us until it's time to put out those pretty summer annuals. So they're a great investment in the south here where we can enjoy them all season. Not going to do the whole yard, but I like to do a front, a few of these front spots so that I can enjoy them all season long um, and not have just all brown garden all season. So we're going to get started. We're doing pansies today and ornamental cabbages. I'm really excited. I've already kind of laid them out in the places that I want. So we're going to get right to work planting them. But first, let me show you where I put them. So as you can see, I have kind of laid them out. We are going to take them out and place them one by one. So they're about four-ish inches apart. Also got some ornamental cabbages to plant. Nice fall plants with the mums. We're going to start with this swoop. Make sure it is all filled in completely from side to side. And then we will move on such a fun time you can see that a lot of the ranunculuses the corms we planted last year are coming up they will bloom right here so that will be a very pretty uh step down just as much as i love fall winter spring plants and i'm so grateful that we can plant things in these seasons in my zone can't do the whole garden so we just do this front portion We'll do, we've got the pink, well, burgundy-ish, the yellow centers. Look how pretty these are. For right in front of the bird bath, little contrast. So we're going to do these right in front of the bird bath. And then we've got big ornamental cabbage and another little double one. And then we've got amaranth. This is not amaranth. This is yarrow. Sorry, y'all. Um, that I'm going to be planting in a different video. So look out for that. But it is a perennial and I'm really excited to have it. Oh, we'll get it planted so that it can bloom next summer. But this will be a little fall swoop. You can see again, bulbs. My mascari is starting to come up. That will bloom next spring. And more ranunculus so I'm gonna still have to do some more work over here eventually this is where all my foxglove bloom and I've got more ranunculus all through here but while I love that beautiful show of foxglove in the spring and fall this part in particular it gets too hot to come back for the fall swoop and so then it's just kind of sad and the cat mint We'll probably uh, grow in enough, but well, we won't be able to plant pansies here forever. So maybe we'll plant pansies there in the future years. But for right now, it's just sad. We'll have ranunculus there eventually. Last but not least, got this little spot. You can see over here, catmint that's doing well. So eventually that will be in front of the bird bath. But we've got bunch more pansies, one more ornamental cabbage, and that will be our little fall swoop for the front of the yard. So let's go ahead and we're going to get these all planted. 
as of right now, I have three extra pansies um, from laying these out, which might be just enough to do the other side of the purple mum up by our first grouping. We might need one more, but I grabbed these. They were a great price at Walmart, so I can always run back and get one more. And the mums we planted with Rachel have already bloomed once and they are getting ready. You can see all the buds to put on a second show. So fall is good, y'all. Fall is good. All right, I am hot, dirty. I broke two nails, but got everything planted. This little bit right here, the original swoop down in front of the bird bath. And on the other side of the door, we had enough, the perfect amount. I was able to take one from in front of the door 
and one four pack too many to pop in right here. So we had literally the perfect amount of pansies for one, two, three, four spots. I was so excited. Got all my pretty little ornamental cabbages. I loved, loved, loved those all fall last year, but I had done a big grouping of them last year. I'll try to get a picture. Um, and so when the frost came out of the freeze came, it's only one night, but I didn't know to cover them last year. Wiped out all three and then I had a big hole. So spread them out this year. Hopefully I can cover them, but if not, it won't be such a big dramatic loss if I do lose them. Either way, I am done for the day. I have more things to plant, but I'm not doing it right now. I'm gonna go take a shower and we'll see y'all in the next video. We have the rest of the uh, pink yarrow to plant. I also have poppies to plant and some cyclamen. So we will be doing an update on the cyclamen tubers we planted last year. Spoiler alert, they're coming up and looking beautiful. And I have one new pack to add. Just trying to keep grow the growing the collection. So we'll see y'all in any one of those three videos. Bye.